Hey guys, and welcome back to another Technology Guru video. So in this video today, I'm going to be talking about how to create and utilize end cards at the end of your videos. So end cards, as you can see here on the screen, I've got Photoshop open to one that I've just created and the one that I'm going to start using on my YouTube channel. The reason why you would want to use a YouTube end card is the ability to have something at the end of your videos for people to stay in your channel, to stay in your ecosystem. So as you can see with this end card here, we're thanking them for watching the video. We give them a direct link that we can annotate with the YouTube annotations to subscribe to the channel. We give them all of our social media outlets, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, a podcast. And then over on the right, the beautiful thing is being able to link to videos, to more videos on the channel. So whatever the video that they just watched, you want to pull in similar or related videos that you can place the thumbnail within this end card. Now, creating an end card, I'm doing it in Photoshop. You can do it in GIMP. You can do it in Pixelmator. You can do it really anywhere. Canva online for free. I prefer Photoshop because I have more flexibility and I also already use Photoshop for other stuff. So for me, I use Photoshop for creating my end cards. Now, you don't just want an end card up after your video you actually want some music in the background to kind of give it a little presence. You don't want it just to be the end card. So when it comes to creating an end card, there's a couple things that you want to do. You want to clearly state what links go where. So subscribe for more. That means click there. You're going to subscribe to the channel. The more videos is going to show similar videos to the one you just watched. Just basically all you have to do there is pull in the thumbnails for those specific videos and lay them on top there. So if you notice what I've done here is if I go here and I actually hide those thumbnails, I've created a template here. So with this template, I'm going to go ahead and hide a few things here. I'll actually save this at, as a Photoshop file, and I will actually put a link in the description to where you guys can go download this specific end card here to use for your videos. All you have to do is plug in your information, your videos, your thumbnails, your Snapchat code, all of that good stuff. So I will put the link down below where you can download this end card. It's going to be a Photoshop template. Now, if you're using something other than Photoshop, you're not going to be able to use this. So I'm going to go ahead now and make everything visible. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So what you're going to want to do is when you create a new Photoshop file to create this, you want it to be 1920 by 1080. You want it to be 1080p, obviously, when you create your card. And then one thing that I always like to do is start out with a border. So the border is going to be the 1920 by 1080, just like this here. And then once you have your border, go ahead and drag it over and then, you know, apply a color to it if the video is going to have a specific color theme or you want your channel to have a specific color theme. And then as you can see here on the finished version, I've changed this over to red to make it pop a little more. And then in order to do that, just go on over, select the rectangle, go on over to properties. And then right here by the color tab right here, not the fill, but the stroke, you change that color to a green color, a red color, a black color. It doesn't really matter. Change it to whatever color suits your video or your channel best. And then the other thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and create frame for your video. So you want to save this as a template for you to use so you don't have to go back and create this over and over again. So you want to create a template like a rectangle, something like this here, uh, and then you want the stroke to be uh, black, and then you also want that to be much thinner. You want the stroke to be much thinner, so maybe around maybe one or two. And then once you're done with that, you'll want to drag that over to wherever you want to put the videos. Now, I chose to do mine on the right side right here as more videos. You can choose to do them in the center. You can choose to even do three. So like if we do this here and we actually duplicate this layer, let's go ahead and duplicate that layer. And then what we can do is drag it over to the side. And what you could do if you wanted to is you could do a layout to where you actually have more related videos as opposed to all of the specific, oop, I'm sorry there. Uh, I didn't do it the correct way there. So you could do actually three videos here instead of actually doing the social media thing. So again, that's all up to what you want to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and deselect the rectangle there and then drag these up. And then you can even do some text at the top and then say more videos like that there and then change the font size of that obviously and then drag that here. So I mean, you can do a lot of different things and then what you could do is actually put your social media down below. Again, you've got to be creative with it. You've, you know your channel better than I do, so you know what's going to work for your audience. 
But I will say this, you definitely want to have a link for people to go and subscribe. You definitely want to have your social media outlets. If you've got a podcast, include that as well. And you also want to have a few different placeholders for thumbnails to put inside the videos. So if you want to know how I did that, basically that's, that's fairly self-explanatory. What I would do is I would just go to file and then go to place embedded. And then I've got a little place here on my computer where I have all of my thumbnails for all of my videos saved. And then I'll just click on the JPEG version of that thumbnail and then click place. And obviously it's going to be really big. So I'm going to drag it down and then I'm going to use that frame that I created with that rectangle to actually place this thumbnail. That way it'll always look unified and it'll always look good within this specific end card. So again, when creating an end card, you want to make sure you have all your direct links. You want to make sure you have a border around it. You want to make sure you have some really upbeat background music. I don't, I don't know. It's up to you, depending on your channel. And then also have your social links. Again, I will have the template on how to do this linked down below for you to download if you want to use my template. Otherwise, go into Photoshop, go crazy with it, link all of your stuff, make sure you have some videos to go by. And also at the end of this video, you're going to see what this end card ended up looking like. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, slap that like button, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more great content just like this. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos and I will see you guys in the next one.